Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says the 50 pound mulching machine has a center of gravity at G. Determine the vertical reactions at the wheel C, B, and the small contact at point A. So this problem is actually kind of short, so let's get to it. First, let's draw a free body diagram. We know we have a reaction at A, a reaction at C, a reaction at B, and we have a weight at G. And what we're trying to find is A and B and C. So let's get started. The first obvious one is sum of the forces at C is equal to zero, and it is equal to A plus B plus C minus the weight. So that means that A plus B plus C is equal to the weight, which is equal to 50 pounds. Let's call this equation one. Now, I'm going to pick um, some of the moments at y because some of the moments at y cancels out c and b, which is two of our variables. So some of the moments at y is equal to zero, and it is equal to first the weight, which happens here, times the distance from the cy plane, which is the weight times two. Then the second is a, which is right here times the distance between A and the CY plane, which is 3.5. So it's A times 3.5. And it is negative because the weight is positive because it's trying to turn this whole thing uh, clockwise. Sorry, I forgot to say that counterclockwise it's positive. So sorry. This is trying to turn it counterclockwise. So that's why the weight is positive and A is trying to turn it Clockwise, that's why it's negative. So A is equal to the weight times 2 over 3.5. But we know the weight. The weight was given in the problem at 50 pounds. So A is equal to 50 times 2 divided by 3.5, which comes out to be 28.57 pounds. 28.57. So let's go for B and C. Now, we know that the sum of the moments, assuming kind of clockwise is positive, the sum of the moments at X is equal to zero, right? And I'm doing the sum of the moments at X because that cancels out the reaction at A and it cancels out the weight. So I know that the reaction at C times 1.25 because that's the distance where C is applied to the X Z plane minus B times 1.25. Now, C is positive because it's trying to turn the, the um, actually, yeah, C is negative because it's trying to turn the x-axis clockwise, and B is positive because it's trying to turn it counterclockwise. So this means that C is equal to B because they're both 1.25 and there's nothing else. So if you solve for this equation, you get that A, C and B are the same. So if we plug this into equation one in conjunction with plugging all the information that we found into equation one, what do we get? We get A plus B plus C is equal to 50 pounds, right? But we know A, so we know that B plus C is equal to 21.43 pounds, right? All we did is plug in um, what we know for A and then solve for B and C. And then, um, but we do know that C and B are the same. So this means that 2B is equal to 2C, which is equal to 21.43 pounds, right? So if you solve for C and B, you get that B, which is equal to C. All you gotta do is divide 21.43 by 10.715, 10 and you get 10.715 pounds. So 21.43 divided by 2, you get 10.715 pounds. 10.715, 10.715. And all of these is in pounds because the weight, which is where we derivated all this force originally, is in pounds. So 
final answer for A, final answer for B, and final answer for C.